At first I wasn't sure if it was deliberate or not, um, particularly as there were other people around me. I wonder perhaps if he was new to London and hadn't got as much awareness of personal space, but it was uncomfortable. And so I deliberately stood up um, and I moved towards the vestibule area. Um, as I was standing there, I could see in the reflection that there was somebody else behind me. It hadn't occurred to me it could be him, but I became aware of a distinct sensation against my skirt. Um, and I realized in horror um, that what I was feeling was his erect crotch area rubbing against my behind. I couldn't quite believe what was happening, to be honest. Um, I think like many women, I doubted that it could really be this. Um, and partly because of this and partly to avoid him, I took a very deliberate step to the right. At this point, he followed me and repeated it. And so there was no doubt in my mind of what he was doing. Um, I'm pleased to say that I managed to, um, to summon the courage to confront him. I think partly because there were some other commuters around me um, and also partly because I could see that there was a CCTV camera. Um, and so I asked him very loudly, um, in a state of shock, as you can imagine, um, what are you doing? At this point, um, the DLR actually pulled into my station. Um, to my shock, the man barely flinched. Um, he just very casually stepped off the DLR and boarded the next carriage. I also got off the DLR at this point as well um, and stood on the platform trying to come to terms with what had happened. But I did remember that I'd seen a campaign, um, believed it was run by the BTP and TFL, um, around encouraging people to come forward and report events like this. But on the basis of this campaign, um, and also on the basis that I was convinced that he would repeat the offence, um, I reported the, um, the offence within minutes of leaving the DLR. And I spoke to a very helpful and very supportive um, officer who took me through um, what would happen next. Um, I told her what had happened. Um, she believed me, which was the important thing, and I have to say that's actually been a very significant part in me moving on from this event because I, be I was believed the whole way through. I'm very pleased to say that they did catch the, um, the offender. Um, he is actually now in jail, um, serving, um, serving his time for the offence. In terms of the advice I have for other women, um, so first of all, it's clear that these kind of events, um, whilst unpleasant, are not uncommon um, and so first of all you aren't alone um, and so if you are concerned that what you're experiencing um, on public transport or anywhere else could be um, a sexual assault of some sort or a sexual harassment don't be afraid to confront the person particularly if you've got others around you it's absolutely worth reporting the offence um, to the police um, if you have concerns like I did that it will not be taken seriously my experience personally says that it absolutely will um, you will receive support the whole, for the whole journey um, and it's only by reporting offences like this that people can start to build a picture of repeat offenders um, and they can start to build a picture of how common these kind of offences are um, and then they can pursue this um, formally by taking many accounts together, um, catching the offenders um, and then prosecuting them um, and again my experience is that um, I felt that the sentence that was given to um, the offender for myself was very fair um, it reflected the repeat offence as well, because it was not just myself who he had um, assaulted. Um, and so you absolutely um, can feel that it will be taken seriously and you will find justice through the system.